Hello and welcome to another video of Whiteboard Lab. In this video tutorial, we're going to discuss about the connection of uh, Denstar Gateway and 3CX. Actually, this is a continuation of another video. But uh, in previous video, we didn't show you that how to how to map the DIDs uh, with different extensions. So in this video, we're going to talk about the different DIDs. For example, we are using a gateway of 16 ports and uh, we are not using same number for all of the ports um, and we are going to use different number for different ports so in this case we're gonna make multiple DIDs um, and those DSDs gonna land on um, the specific extensions and all that starts the video so same way we're gonna make a zip trunk and we're gonna call it A generic zip trunk mm, let's put any number okay we call it you see SIP server address will be the gateway address which is 172.16.0.24 it must be IP based okay so that's it for now and if we go here in the gateway we have to choose um, call configuration menu SIP configuration we have to put the address of the 3CX management console which is somewhere here yep 172.16.0.41 172.0.41 is that correct safe okay and then 172.16.0.41 Sorry, I just want to make sure that I I haven't done any mistake. So 172.16.0.41. Okay. We simply need to make inbound and outbound rules in the gateway IP to telephone routing, which is uh, okay. So it says port group zero and if we go to the port group configuration we have to make sure all of the ports are being selected in the group and let's see modify yep so it's already there all we need is to just change a little bit of configuration okay zip server destination port group Perfect. Port group zip server. Yep, it's perfectly fine and it should work. Okay, now this part is where we have to put the numbers of the SIM cards. So, two VOIP hotline. Here we have to uh, specify all of the SIM card numbers and We'll just put all of the numbers and come back. Okay, so we have already inserted three number of SIM cards in uh, in uh, the gateway, and we have put the number uh, into the into the port configuration tab uh, according to the port number. If port number zero SIM card is um, this number, so we have to put this number in the port number zero same way we have to make inbound and outbound uh, rules here in 3cx as well but before making the inbound and outbound rules we have to go to the dids and we have to add the numbers now let's say i, I i'll make an extension uh, port zero so 
it's like let's say i make an extension 226 and extension name is port 0 all of the calls from port 0 uh, will go to this extension number and from this extension number all of the outbound calls will go to port 0 as well so we'll just put the put the number and then port 0 we'll just add it and we'll just make sure that inbound DID is selected okay click on okay here we go so let us test the extension and give you the feedback yes the test was successful and all of the calls were landed to port zero so i hope you have learned that uh, instead of making three four connections to the gateway we can simply connect um, the gateway using a SIP protocol and uh, we can achieve everything uh, whatever we want thank you for watching my video hope you enjoyed it a lot and we'll bring a lot of other educational videos to you thank you bye bye